Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. The Tough Block. Well, in this case, Tough Blocks. I have two of them strapped together. I started with one. These cost $50 a piece at Canadian Tire. This is Canada, obviously. You can get them other places too. And probably in the States too for far less money with your dollar value if you're in the States watching this. Alright, so I've had definitely a lot of arrows shot at <laughs> this side. <laughs> Quite a number here, but still doing not too bad there. This slide has been annihilated completely. <laughs> Pass throughs, yeah, every friggin' shot. Even 20 pounds, this thing won't stop now <laughs> all the way through. Anyway, so I put some one inch pink styrofoam on here. Going for the bullseye, that's what you're supposed to go for, right? So they tell us, well, <laughs> you're only gonna do that so many times in a row. Anyway. Of course, we've also got this side, which is pretty puked out. Kind of lines up with the really bad stuff, too. And it's just kind of done for, you know. Um, it's had its day. Um, we got a little bit of meat left over here. So even shooting through this side, well, that's the middle at least. And it's kind of done. But, you know, I mean, we could take a stick and jam her through, see how deep it actually goes. And... Uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely got some depth to it, but it is going through the center spot, so that actually does create a little bit of extra pressure because I took um, two of these blue straps that are kind of like a ratchet strap in a sense, but without the main ratchet, you just use all your arm pressure and snug them up. And uh, so I crunched a couple of them together, taped the hell out of it with about two rolls worth so far <laughs> of, of packing tape. And uh, that did help a little bit for the cause. Now, here's the deal. I don't have a big budget. I mean, I've been getting all my bows used and either trading cash or straight cash, but very inexpensive either way. I've got some really nice bows in my collection and um, quite happy with that, but I don't have a huge budget. And a lot of us don't, so we got to start somewhere. And this year I decided to get more serious back into archery because I really want to you know do better and now that i know what i did wrong for 40 years pretty much other than the brief time with a compound that i did right well i got better odds at uh get my target obviously the compound i'm ruling pretty good i mean i i can annihilate bullseyes not a big deal with my compounds but traditional archery is another story still working on that it's gonna be a while but i ended up picking up two of these because of my compound because one of these will not withstand my compound at 54 pounds. These are only rated to 40. We've already got a main review. We've shown you, you know, some different setups and how things were working with these initially. And yeah, 54 pounds, way too much. So don't even think about it for 50. Anything past 40 pounds, no. And at 40 pounds, I'd probably say don't uh, if you want any longevity out of this target. Now, as a main target, this is 24 inches by about 10 and a half basically for the depth for 20 pound you're going to be good for a little while and you will have the sides to shoot on because you're going depth wise in so it's going to take an awful lot before you start blowing through the other side and i'm not shooting the sides um except in the case of having two of them strapped together but generally you won't be doing this so you're only going to have this much and that's it you got a target here and a target here which is nice because once you blow out your center on the main face, at least that doesn't interfere uh, at all with that. So that at least they space that out good. So you're going to get a lot of shooting out of it regardless. But at $50 a target, I've had these, uh, I did the review May 26th, which I think was, may have been the same day I got it or within that time period or maybe I had both by then. It's been less than two months regardless, even with the first one. The second one was bought within a few days later. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot of choices right off the shelf um, unless I want to spend a lot of money. And then I went to my archery shop uh, in Corbeil, Ontario, which is actually only a couple minutes down the road compared to driving to North Bay to Canadian Tire. And he had these targets there for 95 bucks, bag target or a block target. And the block one is called the Beast Marauder. And man, that thing can handle 
pretty much anything I've dished into it so far, including my 54 pound combo, uh, compound bow. It's been doing great. And it accepts broadheads or field points. This is field point only. So here's where I'm at with this. Even if you might have a crummy budget like me, save up for an extra week or two if you need to. Get a decent target that's going to last you a long time. This one won't if you are not only a good shot, but if you're going to be doing a lot of shooting, this thing is not going to survive um, regardless. So, And it's definitely not going to survive uh, past 40 pounds a draw. In fact, even with 40 pounds, it's going to punch them through the other side. So, you know, you might want to consider maybe not more than 20 pound draw in your bow for draw weight. I would recommend these only in the case of, say, kids. You know, kids, their attention span is pretty small anyway, so it's kind of like, well, you buy it, you get them a bow, they're going to shoot at this thing. At least it's better than some of the crappier, really thin targets out there. And they're going to probably have a lot of fun with this thing, right? But they're not going to put a ton of arrows into the bullseye. They're, they're going to shoot everywhere probably but get the odd lucky shot at a bullseye. So in that case... It would definitely last a long time, all right? A long time, especially with kids. Um, but once you get to teenagers and, you know, young adults, right? And us older guys, this is not going to work for us for long at all. So not a good plan, all right? Um, for a few bucks more, literally, I mean, okay, maybe twice the money, you get a real target, Okay. Um, that's definitely going to be durable on the long haul. It's going to take some serious horsepower at it, where this really isn't, okay? Even strapping two of these together, I still have done a lot of arrows through um, pretty much every side of this thing. I haven't shot the top division or the bottom division where they're strapped. Um, that's still up and coming eventually. But that's going to be my wife doing that. I've moved on to the Beast Marauder and my straw target, and the straw target for now gets hung off of this when she's not shooting. This way I have some kind of a backer. Uh, this way if I do start to wear out my bullseye area um, anytime soon on the straw target, which I doubt because I'm only using it for my um, traditional bows, I am strictly using the Marauder target only for my compounds. Okay, But for my traditional bows, I'm using a straw traditional styled um, made target that's five layers deep. I'm going to try the 7 layer one because I think that might be an even better option than the 5. The 5 is pretty good, and the arrows only come out about 5 or 6 inches. But it's also, eventually I am going to wear into that bullseye area once I get really good at traditional archery. And that's the point where it's going to be like, I need a backer on here if I want more and more use out of this target without it, you know, blowing apart type of thing, right? So, um, but... Kids are not going to shoot that many arrows in a row. That's number one. Most of your bows you're buying your kids, even though I don't actually agree with a lot of the options out there, um, you're going to do it nonetheless. And they're usually 10, 15, 20 pound bows. All right. Those are going to be fine. Those youngsters are not going to take very many shots. They're going to get bored quick. This is going to get put away for maybe another week or two weeks or three weeks or maybe even a month before the kid touches it again. So in that case, I'd say, yeah, 50 bucks, great investment, you know, between, you know, the target and you got your kid a, you know, cheap bow, etc. or whatever, you know, you do what you do and that would be a viable idea, okay? And uh, because those bows are not going to have the power to properly puncture into quality targets, okay? But they do have plenty to get into this um, styrofoam block. And that's all this is. It's a big chunk of solid styrofoam in a baggie with some cool writing on it, some built-in targets to shoot at, um, to give you, you know, more access to where, like, you got small, smaller targets here and whatnot, and then you got your big target face, and you got a different face on the other side, and you got targets here. I'm gonna tell you right now, no youngster is gonna start shooting at the sides until he or she can really do good at bullseyeing it. Um, otherwise, they're gonna lose more arrows than they're gonna count, you know what I mean? Um, so, anyhow, I think as far as youngsters using these things, and I do mean the young kids, I would, I would give this thing a four out of five, but for adult usage or late teen usage where 
they're going to be shooting a lot of arrows. They're going to be shooting more powerful bows, more than likely. I wouldn't even touch it. I wouldn't even. I, I couldn't even honestly give it much more than maybe a two at 20 pounds, okay, out of five star. It's just, it depends upon the user. Bottom line, it's on the user. So this is where, this is one of those other reviews where, you know, in this instance, it deserves this. But in this instance, it's going to get this. And for me, I'm severely addicted to archery. And even though I'm not that great at traditional boat right now, um, this has served its purpose for me at least. It is definitely serving its purpose for my wife. She is new to archery. She's never shot before. So she is literally using a kid's piece of garbage. <laughs> and I call it garbage because I call it what it is. I might be able to improve the... Uh, uh, riser a little bit for where the arrow sits because right now it's like you got to hold your finger up there and pull it back and then pray to God it doesn't fly off when you release it. It's that crappy. That's Barnett for you for a hundred and some bucks. Anyway, stay with him Barnett stuff. It's just absolute garbage. But regardless, she needs to learn to pull. So she's got 20 pounds and she's hitting here, 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 here. Uh, even a, a, an almost good side I have left will still last her for a long, long time. Uh, but once she's able to start pulling back her PSE compound, well, this will be pointless for her completely. And at that point, we're going to have to get her, get her a real target. So, because, yeah, this is only going to be good for so long. So if you are also a first-time archer, even as an adult, and you're getting into traditional archery, and you actually want to hit something... This at least has some good size to it, right? And it has the targets there. You don't have to go out and spend money on extra paper targets. I, I have only got the extra paper targets because, well, there's nothing left of the plastic. So you got to put something there to try and focus on. Anyway, I think that's pretty much about where I'm settled with this. Would I do this again? No. Would I ever buy one for my wife to start over with, even though she's not shooting her PSE yet? Absolutely not. I, I would rather just keep this thing going as long as I can. Besides which, I still have a little bit of wear and tear left here she can use. We did put uh, now three total layers, so three inches of pink styrofoam on this face. And if I can find another thing of pink styrofoam, I could just cut this one right off, slab another big piece on there. And even she would be good to go for a lot longer. So we could actually make this thing last. But it's like, I don't even know what a sheet of that stuff costs. I'd have to price it out. Maybe I can just make her a target the same size um, out of pink styrofoam and make something better for her. You know, I also have all those rubber mats I'm going to be cut in half eventually. And I'm going to make a, a rubber target out of those. So maybe even that might be a good... Uh, upgrade at that point but uh for now we got a little bit of space left we still got a lot of meat left in here we could still shoot um she could anyways me no all my arrows will just pass through and then of course we have not shot the top yet of the two stacks and we still have not done hardly anything maybe a couple of arrows in the bottom area here uh but yeah it's uh it's dying it's it's definitely dying it's uh Definitely needs a revitalization somewhere once again. So, anyway, so if you're thinking about getting one of these things, that's my opinion in the end. It's the last you're going to hear about me on this one. This is the final review, and it hasn't even been, like I said, two months. I mean, we're talking my last review, first review is May 26th. This is now July 6th, and we're not even two months. And yeah, if you're into shooting a lot, and you're really good with a compound especially kiss it goodbye get spend the extra money it costs 95 dollars canadian for the beast marauder target and it's extreme extreme durable and then i've got the straw target that was like 70 bucks um mind you there was a story behind that and i ended up getting it for free in the end but that was their screw up so but um either way 70 dollar target um <laughs> That probably should have been my first choice, but I already had the boat. It's like, I want to shoot. And this was also cheaper and convenient than spending 95 bucks right away, too. But then I got stupid and I spent another 50 bucks and got a second one. I should have just saved a little bit longer and, 
you know, type of thing. But you do what you do. You learn your lessons in life. That's all there is to it. Anyways, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.